Hey guys, welcome to Jared's Junk Drawer. I'm JR, this is Dukina, and this is Boots. Yes, good girl. Today's a continuation of the commission I've been working on for TWL. So if any of you didn't catch the first episode, make sure you check that out. I had a beautiful scene of Christine on the beach in a lounge chair, and I just learned so much from that painting, and she turned out amazing. But today we're gonna to be painting the second girl for the commission, Jennifer. And I wanna continue with the same like setting and theme that I had going in the first painting. So I'm thinking having her playing in the ocean would actually be really awesome. Just like last time, I've got my reference sheet all ready to go with all of my emotions and anything I might need to review to keep my character design consistent across multiple paintings. Okay, everything's all set. Let's get started. Working out the details of the pose, I am struggling where I want to put Jen's arm. To muddle through things like this, I like to keep throwing ideas at a page until something sticks. For this painting, I want something that adds movement to the scene. This painting needs to capture the fact that she's active and energetic while playing in the water. Having her hair flipping up in the air feels like a good way of showing the momentum. And I'll put her slightly off balance to really capture that she's in the middle of jumping around. I'm thinking this painting could work really well if I have some heavy rim lighting around Jen. So I'm gonna put the light source right above and behind her and see how that works later in the painting. I can always move it if I decide I wanna change it later, but for now, I'm definitely leaning towards some heavy rim lighting. I'm experimenting with a background type that I've seen before, but I haven't attempted myself. I'm making the horizon line slightly concave to try to pull the focus in. And I'll try to keep the same flow throughout the image as I build up various elements of the painting. When it's all said and done, let me know what you think of how it turns out down in the comments. Putting together the splashing water is proving to be more challenging than I first expected. I've got to keep her movement in mind. She's skipping through the water, and I'm closing my eyes to visualize how that would feel and how the water would be reacting as her right hand digs in and her left hand like skims across the surface and pulls the water up. With the sunlight coming in from behind her, she's going to have a fair amount of rim lighting present around her body. At the same time, I want to leave some room for some uplighting reflections from the ocean. There's a lot of light to deal with in this bright scene, and I gotta keep it all in mind while I build up the contrast. It's the big reason why I made her bathing suit black, so that along with her hair, I'd have some nice dark colors to work with. Speaking of the hair, it's time to get to work. Right now it's just a flat color, and that just won't do. I'm starting by blocking in where I want the shadows to fall and adding in definition to build up some texture. Come back in with some highlights, some loose strands, a bit of reshaping, and now it's looking pretty good. I'm not quite happy with the facial expression, so I'm going to touch that up a bit. Have her smile some more. Okay, this is almost finished. Just got to come back in with a little more glow for final touches. And all done. And there you have it. Second girl of the commission all done. This painting really flew by fast. It only took a couple of days, which is like twice as fast as my usual paintings. And I love her expression. It just turned out great. The water has a very glowy type look, which is what I was aiming for really. But I'm definitely happy with how it turned out. 
there's a lot in here I like. Well, this commission has been a lot of fun, but it's not over yet. I still got two more paintings lined up before it's over. And thanks again to the YouTube channel TWL for commissioning these pieces in the first place. They've got some hilarious content and I'll make sure to leave links in the description down below. As for me, I've been working on my Instagram account, been uploading a lot of my newest paintings and some animal videos, lots of day-to-day -day kind of stuff. So if that interests any of you, you can follow me at JR's Junk Drawer. But that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.